Welcome to BizWire, I'm Joseph Nordstrom in Beijing. There's a widespread misconception that China's government is a deliberate and efficient decision-making body whose authoritarian whims frighten all into submission. But in reality, there are often mixed motives between the central government in Beijing and officials working at the local level. Nowhere is this more evident than in the calculations over whether to protect environmental resources or push economic growth at whatever the cost. Despite caricatures to the contrary, Communist Party officials in Beijing are concerned about the immediate and long-term implications that unrestrained industrial activity brings upon the health of China's citizens and the economy. The New York Times ran a story this week about the damage caused by the mining of rare earth minerals in China. The report details how toxic chemicals have infiltrated important water sources in many parts of the country. Beijing has restricted the production of rare earth minerals, but illegal mining is reportedly widespread. The Times piece describes how in Guangdong province in southeastern China, officials are trying to undo damage to rice fields and streams destroyed by powerful acids and other runoff from open pit rare earth mines that are often run by violent organized crime. Up to this point, China has dominated the international rare earth market, not because it's the only one with deposits, but precisely because the minerals and metals are difficult to mine without damaging the environment. Despite the name, rare earth minerals are not scarce, and deposits have been found in many countries who, for the most part, have declined to extract them after judging that the costs were not worth the benefits. A few years ago, when China set export quotas that drove up prices, which motivated many electronics manufacturers and defense departments from around the world, but especially in the U.S. and Japan, to look for new supplies or industrial techniques that don't require the use of rare earths. Since then, prices have plummeted, and exports from China have not come close to reaching quotas set. Still, though, illegal mining continues despite campaigns from Beijing and citizen groups to stop the practice. In The Times, Keith Bradshaw writes that communities scattered across China face heavy environmental damage that accumulated through two decades of nearly unregulated rare earth mining and refining. Bradshaw writes that China has begun spending billions of dollars to clean up the fields and water supplied blighted by radioactive waste used in rare earth processing. The environmental damage within China has even become part of a dispute under investigation by the World Trade Organization. Beijing argues that export quotas are justified because of the ecological impact, while other nations say the quotas violate WTO rules. Bradshaw says that Beijing's admission of the environmental catastrophe brought about by rare earth mining and processing may have buttressed its case at the WTO, which is expected to give its ruling soon. You're watching BizWire on the Blue Ocean Network, China's first and only privately owned broadcast media. All of our stories can be seen on our website, bon.tv backslash biz dash wire. In just a second, we'll continue with more insight into the big picture of China's economy.